to admit, having a rear view mirror in your car that shows not what only is behind you, but also in front of you, and at the same time, does take some time to get used to. And the fact you can just swipe your finger on the screen to change camera view, well, that's about as cool as car technology you can get. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button, because most of the time that is what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and installing this car DVR dash cam rear view mirror. This particular dash cam rear view mirror is the Jansight T29S from a company in China called Jansight Technology that specialize in these types of systems. So yes, this is a dash cam that's been built into a rear view mirror, which you just attach to the front of your car's existing rear view mirror, making it very easy to install. Once it's installed, you can plug it into your cigarette lighter socket to power it up. It does also come with an optional power adapter, so you can hardwire it into your car's electrical system, um, if you prefer it to do it that way. And that is the way I prefer to do it, and we'll be installing it today, as it looks tidier and if you follow this channel, you already know how much of a perfectionist I am when it comes to installations. Okay, so as we can see, the front dash cam itself is incorporated into the side of the mirror. And if you're thinking, but doesn't that stop you from attaching it to your car's existing mirror? Well, let's try. Well, yes it does, because it overhangs on one side. But the answer is no, because the actual dash cam slides out to the side like that. Now let's try again. And it's a perfect fit. And as far as how do you attach the mirror to your existing car's mirror? Well, it comes with these little rubber mounting bands that you can attach to the sides and that holds it firmly against your car's existing mirror. This is a cool gadget to have in your car. Especially if you have no rear window, or a window that is blanked off like me with my van. And this van is what I will be installing this on today. It does come with a rear view camera supplied in the box as well. However, I will not be using that because as you can see, I already have a rear view camera installed in the rear and front of my van from other projects. Okay, on the top of the mirror here we have three main ports. Uh, this one over here marked GPS is not used for this model. Uh, over here we've got the mini USB port. Uh, which is for the power supply to plug into. This is the TF card slot for your memory card to be installed. Uh, and this is an AV port, uh, which is where you need to plug in the rear view camera. That's the camera that they supply, of course, which has the right plug on it to do that. Um, obviously, in my case, I'll be chopping this off. Um, that way I can use my, I, I can rewire it and use my existing rear view camera. Um, and here on the back, we have a little hole marked R, which is the reset switch. And of course here on the bottom is the power button to switch it on and off. Uh, screen size is approximately 10 inches long by 2.5 inches in height. Uh, and yes, it is a touch screen as well. Uh, resolution is 1080p at 2.5k, so no, it's, it's not 4k. It supports 12 volts and 24 volt systems, so it will work on some trucks as well. Uh, for video footage storage, you need a memory card, as I've already said. Um, and it even comes with the memory card as well, which is here. Um, and they even also supply a memory card reader as well. Um, I chose the 32 gig memory card because it was cheaper, um, but it can support memory cards up to 256 gig. Cost was $85 plus shipping, which was a really affordable price in my opinion. Uh, it also has a built-in G sensor as well, which I think is built into around the camera here somewhere. Um, this gravity sensor is used to lock the video footage in the case of, for example, an accident where you would not want the video footage to be overwritten or lost. It is also used for another feature called parking mode. In parking mode, if your vehicle is parked and interfered with, this mirror, even though now in standby mode, will now automatically start recording again by itself. And it will now record a 20 second video clip and then store that video clip so it cannot be overwritten. So then when you return to your parked car and find it damaged, you can play back the video footage to find out what happened to your car. I know, that's so cool, right? Okay guys, now it's time to get this installed into the car, so then we can test it out to see how well it performs.
Okay, the first thing I need to do is install my memory card into the memory card slot. Uh, then I'll plug in my camera cable and my power supply cable. And then I need to mount the mirror onto my car's existing rear view mirror. Okay, I've just mounted the dash cam mirror onto my car's existing rear view mirror. I'm just bringing the camera on the back so you guys can see how those rubber bands that they supply mount it to the actual mirror itself. As you can see, they're just wrapped around. They just clip to the bottom and top of the dash cam mirror. And it holds it very firmly in place. It's not going to go anywhere. So now all I've got to do is just run these wires up along the roof, down the A-pillar, and hook everything up. Okay, so the wiring's all done. I've got the wiring running all along the top of the roof and down the A-pillar. So now all that's left to do is to wire it up. And that's really easy as well. There's only three wires. So you've just got black, which is your ground, your yellow wire, which is your battery, and your red wire, which is your switch ignition. So I'm going to wire it up now. Okay guys, just when I thought this installation was going too easily for me, I finally ran into a problem. And it was a big problem. And that problem was that this Gensight dash cam rear view mirror is not compatible with my existing rear view camera. So it's now the next day and many many hours later as I did not expect to have this problem. So because my rear view camera was not going to work, the only solution to my problem was to use the camera that they supplied. So yes, my van now has two rear cameras and two front view cameras. And while that may sound strange, I actually really like that idea now I've got it set up. So the problem has now been solved and the installation is now complete as I worked all through the night to get it finished. And this is how I did it. So because I already have a rear view camera mounted to the outside of my van, I didn't want to mount another one there as well as that would look ugly. So I came up with another idea, which I've never tried before. I decided to mount my Janzite camera inside the van and mount it to the roof. So now when the rear door closes, the camera looks through the glass window as you can see now with the door closed. So yes, of course that is going to slightly affect the picture quality displayed, but that's not going to be that noticeable, except for sometimes at night time. However, there is a plus side to this method as well. With the camera being inside the van, no one can steal my rear view camera. Okay, so now that everything is set up, let's check out how it performs inside the garage. And then after that, let's go for a drive so we can really test out the system in more depth. Okay, now that the installation is complete, I can start by peeling off this protective film on the Jansite mirror, as we no longer need that. Now, as expected, the Jansite mirror conveniently just turns on and off with the ignition. You don't need to manually turn it on and off at all. So let's turn on the ignition now. And you can see the front and rear view cameras are now displayed on the screen of the mirror. That's pretty cool, right? But what's even cooler is because it's a touch screen, just like your phone or tablet, I can swipe to the left and right to display that camera image in full screen mode, like this. There's the front camera. And there's the rear camera. I've only been testing this out for a few minutes and I already love it. But testing it inside the dark garage is not a great testing environment. So now it's time to test this outside. So put on your seatbelt because we're going for a drive. Okay guys, we're now outside. I'm just going to do a little test drive around the block so you can see how the mirror works when we're outside in the light. Um, so as you can see at the moment, we've got the front view camera here and the rear view camera here. Um, okay, obviously where I've mounted the rear view camera is not the best place to mount a rear view camera. But for the purpose of this video, it'll work fine. Um, so I'm going to start off by leaving the mirror on the double display with both cameras and then when I'm driving along I might just flick it to the rear view camera and flick it to the front view camera so you can see a larger image of what you um, see when you're on the road. So let's go.
Okay guys, I just found out another feature that this mirror's got that I didn't even know it had. As I said before, my rear view camera is mounted too high. You can actually change the position of that camera without even physically touching the camera. Check this out. The camera moves up and down on the screen. How cool is that? So I don't actually need to change the position of the camera, I can just do it all from touching the screen on the mirror by itself. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit dark now, but that's not a bad thing because it makes it easier for you guys to see the images on the mirror. Um, so okay, obviously this is a DVR camera, um, but it can also be used as a parking system as well. Um, obviously the front view camera is not really at the right angle for that. You can actually tilt it down a bit like that. Um, so let's back up to that blue rubbish bin that we can see in this in the rear view camera. We'll just flick onto the rear view camera, put it into reverse and we'll back up to that rubbish bin. See how well it works as a rear view camera. Obviously you can't trust the distance on it, but still, it's better than, it's better than nothing. Let's go forward again, change the position of the camera to the front view, and go forward again. Okay, so you can obviously adjust the settings as well of the mirror. We we'll just have a quick look at that. Um, here we've got a snapshot button, so you can take a picture of what's in front of you. Here we've got uh, playback. Pick some footage that you want and play it back through the mirror. I haven't got the volume turned up loud, so you can't hear that very well. Go back. Go back. Um, and then in here you've got your settings. I'm not going to go through all these settings, but there's a few little bits and pieces you can go through there. And that's it, guys. Okay, so in regards to the video footage that is recorded and stored by the DVR, does it just record and store the video footage from the front camera or the rear camera as well? That's actually a really good question, and we're going to find that out now. So I've removed the memory card from the mirror. I'm going to install that into the USB memory card reader, which they supply in the kit. I'm going to put that into my USB port on my laptop. Like that. Let's open it up. Okay, so up here, we've got the snapshot picture that we took in the car park. And it's recorded it from both cameras, front and rear. Let's go to the last recorded file, which is down there. And the answer to that question is yes. It stores the video footage from both the front and rear cameras. Okay guys, and that brings us to the end of another video. So that is how the Jansight T29S DVR dash cam rear view mirror works. So what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section below. I personally really like it and its features. The quality of it looks really good and it's been incredibly stable and reliable while I have been testing it. I'm definitely going to be keeping this in use for a bit longer yet, as it's perfect for me who has a van and can't see out the back window anyway. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please like, share and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. I will now end the video by turning the ignition off so you can all see 
how the Jansite mirror shuts down. So I hope to see you all in the next video.